Chevy get in? Hey YouTube, thought I'd stop in and give you a little update. So, I've been posting a little bit about the carnivore diet, um, how I've been transitioning into that. But one of the other major problems I was having was my addiction to um, Dr. Pepper, especially soda. And we all know that caffeine is addicting. And I've been off soda. I went 30 days without drinking a soda. And I'll tell you, I'm not, I'm not going to return to it. Um, I'm not saying I'll never have it again. But I think the idea of um, not having caffeine is highly underrated. Just, just not having the caffeine has helped me feel so much better. Uh, my joints, my my joints don't ache as much. I have more energy. I'm able to go throughout the day without, you know, usually you're at, going through the day up and down, more steady with energy and just feeling um, more normal. So, and I know there's a lot of coffee drinkers out there and um, people stay on coffee when they drink carnivore and I'm not trying to bash anybody like that, but my addiction to sugar and caffeine was it didn't come from coffee it came from soda and all the other bad things that are in soda like the high fructose corn syrup and other things that are in it that are just chemical it's all bad for your body so just knocking that out i feel so much better and so now my next step is to quit the sugar um, I do eat more meat, so, you know, that's helpful, but I also know that I'm still eating sugar, um, not as much, but it's still in there, but I just wanted to let you all know that getting rid of the soda, which was also a big part of the sugar, and, um, but the caffeine, that has made me, it's really made a big difference. The first two weeks, I felt terrible, I'll just tell you. Um, and my bones ached and my legs ached and I just, you know, I felt terrible. I couldn't do anything. I didn't do much. I crashed every day for, you know, like midday. I'd just crash out for a while. Um, but then slowly it started getting better. And by the end of the month, the first month, I just, you know, like I couldn't sit still. I, you know, I would be up doing things like cleaning and, you know, usually doing things that I had to force myself to do and with without being addicted to that soda which I needed every day um, I'm finding myself more energized I'm finding myself um, just you know cleaning or doing things that need to be done without having to make myself do it you know the human body God created the human body to move God created the human body to, to do things. And I believe that many of us want to, you know, we want to be responsible. We want to do the things that we're supposed to do. But because of our diet, we don't do it. So if we feel crappy, um, it's probably because of our diet. Um, yes, there's other reasons. But I think the first thing that we need to look at is our diet. And with me... It's not just going carnivore, but it was the addiction I had to the soda. Because I've been drinking, you know, I've been drinking Dr. Pepper as, you know, a preteen. And yes, there's times that I would get off of it for a little while and whatnot. Um, but I just always go right back. And um, this time I'm determined just because I feel better. And I don't want to go back. You know, you reach, I think you reach that point in your life where you want things to be better and you don't want to go back. And, you know, God, God does not want us to be stagnant. God does not want us to just be in a place where we can't really do anything. He's given us the, the mind and the body to serve him and, and to love him. And if we're destroying that by the things that we're doing, by the things that we're putting in our mouth, then that's not giving him the honor and glory that he deserves. 
so I just wanted to touch bases with you out there and I hope you know if you're struggling with an addiction whether it's caffeine whether it's sugar you know even other things um, know that you know if, if you really want to get rid of it then you know God will help you and he'll give you the community that you need and he'll give you the strength that you need and so um, just know that God loves you and live, live the life that will bring him honor and glory until next time just something to think about thanks bye